Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Rod. Um, today we are going back with Nick and Compass Heli Tours to go fish one of the lakes uh, that we were at last year. Um, last year we, we ended up targeting, we tried to get some of the bull trout and cutthroat, but we ended up just getting the cutthroat because they were so aggressive uh, compared to the bull trout. So this year, Rod and I have come back to see if we could get one of those massive bull trout that we saw swimming around um, the school to cutthroat. We don't know if it's actually going to happen, but we're going to try our best. Well, the first leg of the flight is over and uh, I'm pretty speechless because I knew BC was, is beautiful, but uh, this is just out of this world. We've never seen anything like this before. That was worth the walk. It was about 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And uh, now we're at the waterfall. It's beautiful. Well, we're not at the waterfall yet. We're almost at the waterfall. Okay, so as you can see behind me, this doesn't look like the ideal fishing spot. Um, Nick from Compass Heli Tours, he actually wanted to surprise us and do a little bit of exploring for future trips for him and his clients. So we stopped at this unknown lake. Never been here before, and while we were landing, he asked if we wanted to go for a hike to a waterfall. So I just did it. Rod stayed right here, and I hiked to the very top of this waterfall. Gorgeous up there, but I had to end up leaving uh, sooner than I wanted because I actually was getting pretty wet from the mist coming off the rocks. Very cool trip so far. But we haven't even gotten to fishing yet. Okay, next spot, what are we checking out now? Well, I thought it was just all rocks and snow, but there is a huge glacier right in front yeah. of us and I've never I've, seen I've one I've never seen one before, so we're gonna go touch one now. So as the glacier advances, it pulverizes the granite below it, turns it into sand, scoops it all up in the glacier, and then as it retreats, it deposits it into, into these huge piles of sand. Other than the little rocks in there, it's like a beach sand, right? They said you'll just see little pieces of rock or ice kind of fall down because it's getting warmer. But you said that eventually bigger pieces will fall? Oh yeah, you're never 100% safe standing in front of these, but how else are you going to appreciate the beauty, right? It's a, it's a risk. But you have a look up top, there's no big rocks hanging off. Um, well, well, if, if it um, was to collapse, it would fall down. This particular piece, yeah, it would slough off into there. You can see the crack form, so maybe this summer, maybe next summer. Spot number three, <laughs> and uh, this has been a pretty amazing day already. I mean, we're only halfway through, we're around lunchtime, and uh, we've, we've been through the waterfall, the glacier, the glacier, and now we are at a, I guess, at, at a glacial lake. Look at the color of that lake, it's amazing. It's surreal. And we're gonna do some paddling. 
I'm so excited. So, it just... Uh, this day keeps getting better and better. Yep. Soak it all in. <laughs> like you were saying, it's only 30 to 45 minutes away yeah. from our backyard. From, from the phone, yeah. easy downtown area. final destination for today and before we go out fishing for the bull trout in Cutthroat uh, we're going to have lunch and so they have this little um, table that you can just put up take down wherever you want and we're gonna have lunch by the lake in the mountains after all that hiking that we did today I am famished it looks delicious I don't know if I can eat all that <laughs> Meatloaf sandwich. Ready. Mm. After this morning, I'm ready. Okay, let's eat and we're gonna catch a fish. Rock spoon, nickel five stripe, one sixteen ounce, perfect size for cutting trout. Second cast, it's on. This fish. I pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice one. Yeah. That's not bad, actually. Oh my goodness, you have exceeded not only my expectations, but Rod's. On our way here to Abbotsford, we both talked about catching bull trout, because we went with you last year. Yep. And that was our goal, was to catch cutthroat and bull trout, and it didn't happen last year. So we were talking about how excited we were. But you had a different plan. Actually, not just one plan, lots of them. Uh, Nick ended up taking Rod and I to see our very first glacier. We saw some stunning waterfalls uh, coming out of the mountain peaks. And uh, we actually ended up spending some time kayaking, uh, not only for fish, but on one of the glacial lakes up in the mountains, which was really cool. And I want to thank you for that, Nick. You're very welcome. If, um, if people are interested in finding out more information about all the different activities that you offer, where should they go? My website is a good place to start. 
compassheli-tours.com. A quick Google search of Abbotsford or Vancouver heli tours or heli fishing, glacier kayaking. I'm not hard to find. Social media too. So I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Compass Heli Tours. Awesome. Perfect. Well, it's been a real pleasure again. Thank you for inviting us back for a second go. Uh, I had a lot of fun and... Still no boat trail though, right? That, well, maybe there will be a third episode, uh, right? Maybe, maybe. But uh, until next time, as always, good luck fishing.